Welcome to Electron Online. On the last video we saw that by taking the object and moving it a little bit closer to the magnifying glass and to the point we're reviewing inside the focal point we ended up seeing a larger image and then if we strain our eyes and we place the image at the near point 25 centimeters away from where we're looking then we saw we had a larger magnification. The question is, is there such an equation, is there a general equation we can find that tells us what the magnification will be when we look with strained vision rather than when we do relaxed viewing. We saw with relaxed viewing that the magnification was simply 25 centimeters divided by the focal length of the lens, which was derived by taking the ratio of the new angle to the old angle. That ratio ended up being 25 centimeters over the focal length. So what we can do is we can again start with the same equation, the lens equation solved for the image distance, or in this case the object distance, and then we can plug that into the magnification equation. The magnification is equal to minus S prime over S, S prime being the image distance and S being the object distance. So instead of S, we're going to write what S is equal to in terms of S prime and F. So the magnification is going to be equal to minus S prime divided by this quantity right here, which is S prime F over S prime minus F. So notice that can then be written as minus S prime times, we're going to multiply times its inverse, which is S prime minus F divided by S prime times F. And then you can see that this S prime and this S prime cancels. So then what we have is we can then multiply this through and we get the magnification is equal to minus S prime plus F divided by F. Now when we divide the denominator into the numerator we get this to be equal to minus S prime over F plus F over F. Now, f over f, of course, is equal to 1, but what about minus s prime over f? Now, notice that s prime, since we're looking with strained vision, we're going to put the image at the near point, as close as possible, and we can still then see clearly. That would be at a distance of 25 centimeters, but remember, since it's s prime, the image distance, and the s, s prime, the image distance is in front of the lens, that gives us a minus 25 centimeters. So that means that the magnification is equal to minus times a minus 25 centimeters divided by the focal length plus 1. And so eventually, if I then solved it, and minus times the minus becomes plus, we can then say that the magnification for strain viewing is going to be equal to 25 centimeters divided by the focal length plus 1. Now notice how that differs with, this is of course with strain viewing, so I'll just go ahead and put that down, strain viewing. And strain viewing means that you force the image to fall to a distance 25 centimeters away at the near point, and this is the equation we use for relaxed viewing. The only difference is plus one, that means when you use strain viewing, the magnification increases by one. Remember. On the previous video, we realized that if we use this equation and we let f equals 5, that the magnification was equal to 25 divided by 5, which is 5. And on the previous video, we calculated the, stra the strain viewing magnification to be 6. And sure enough, you can see 25 centimeters divided by 5 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. You do get the correct answer. But this is the general equation that works for all magnifying glasses, for all lenses that are magnifying glasses. The strain viewing magnification is simply the relaxed viewing magnification plus one in all cases. And that's how we derived it, and that shows that that's how it works.